I'm back, baby. I apologize for the uh, slight interruption in my video streaming, but um, well, the weather was shit, and then I kind of took a little vac. I took two vacations. Vacation one, I went to um, uh, we went to Reno, and I had a good time for my birthday, and then vacation two, I went and saw my parents down in Florida. Um, yeah, Reno was pretty cool. Uh, we stayed at the Grand Sierra Hotel, and uh, very nice room, very affordable rates, very nice casino. Um, had a pretty good time there. Did the uh, gambling, did the pool, did the uh, fancy dancy ice skating rink. Um, had an overall pretty good time there. Um, then we did the, uh, they have a automotive museum in Reno. And it is absolutely world class. I think my phone has died. That's unfortunate. Okay, well now we're just winging it. I don't really know where the pet store place is, but I'm confident we can find it. Um, but yeah, we did the, the automotive museum. That was cool. There's lots of stuff to see there. Uh, maybe I'll pull some stuff up on the screen here and show you a couple of things. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that. I don't think so. It's not really that much to show. Uh, I took lots of pictures while I was there. It was cool. Okay. All right. Are we turning or are we not turning? Suzanne. Um, I think I'm going to turn too. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's enough to show. Unfortunately, my camera died. I should say my camera died. I ran out of storage space while I was in Reno. So that might... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough to really make a whole video out of that. We'll just put a couple of things on the screen. That was cool. Um, what else did we do? We went up, we went up to the mountains. We were cruising around the mountains for a while. Again! Yeah! Woo! Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Well, that was pretty cool. Did some shooting while we were there. Um, went to the gun range. What else did we do? I don't know. That's about it. Um, then we, what did I do? I went to Florida. So Florida was cool. Um, we, I flew there. Uh, it was a nice, super duper fast flight on the way there. Unbelievable fast flight. We had like a 170 mile an hour tailwind or something ridiculous. So our ground speed was like 670 miles an hour or something ridiculous like that. So like... We are doing almost Mach 1 on the way there. Let's just put it that way. Um, I think I got to Atlanta, um, my God, in like four hours or something ridiculous. Three hours. It was like the fastest flight because we're again, we had like a 200 mile an hour tailwind. I'm going to take this lane. So yeah, that was impressive. Um, I haven't been in the Atlanta airport in a number of years, so I got a little lost on my way to finding the terminal when I got to Atlanta, but it was not a big deal because, like I said, I was there, like, with, like, three and a half hours worth of time to get to my next flight, so I had plenty of time to, hey, he's from Michigan, what do you know? Um, like I said, I had plenty of time to get to my next flight and be lost and walk around the airport and all that other nonsense. So I walked around the airport a while. I took a couple of videos because there was this really, it was both cool and weird. It was like this endless tunnel at the uh, Atlanta airport. And it was supposed to be like a jungle, I think. So they had like metal cutouts of trees and things like that. Um, I don't know. It was cool. It was also a little weird. 
Uh, but it was cool, I will say that. They had like, uh, synthetic, uh, bird noises, like, piped in there, so it was like, supposed to be like, you could hear the birds, I don't know, I'll probably include a clip of that too, bam. my parents while I was in Florida. We went and saw this unbelievably cool um, uh, aquarium, but it was more than just an aquarium. They had like zoo animals there. They had like a 4D uh, movie thing. That was really cool. It was a cool, cool museum. I haven't been to a museum like, like that in a while. Give me the and maybe that's because the last several times I can remember going to museums of that nature, uh, or like an aquarium, I remember just being like outdated and feeling kind of crusty. I don't know. It was a good experience. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, again, did not have a lot of good video of that or pictures of that because, like I said, I only brought I brought the wrong camera along with it. Brought the wrong uh, memory card with me when I went there, so couldn't really. Oh shit! That was my turn. Oops, daisies. Let's do the old one, two, cheese. Uh, flipper dipper do here. Hang folks. on, folks. There we go. Um, brought the wrong camera or memory card with me, so. Uh, I didn't have much space. So we did the uh, aquarium thing. That was cool. We went to the beach a couple of days. We went to Siesta Key Beach. I don't know. I never heard of it before. But allegedly it's like rated one of the top beaches in the country. Um, I, you know, I don't know if that's true. I've been to a lot of beaches in my life that were pretty damn good. Uh, I will say it was one of the better beaches I've ever been to for sure. Top five for sure. Uh, it was very nice. The softest sand you can imagine. Beautiful clear water. A little bit of waves to give you something to play around in. Lots of open spaces. Nice people. Uh, you know, decent food. They had a little vendor thing there. So decent food. The beer prices weren't too obnoxious. So that was all good. Um, yeah, so that was awesome. Uh, what else did I do while I was there? Oh, okay, so then, so here was the funny part about this whole trip, right? So, the funny part about this whole trip is I have been watching the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel since it first probably started. Um, not watching it regularly, though. I watched the first couple of episodes. I remember seeing it off of 1320, and, uh thinking to myself, hey, uh, this might be cool, I'll watch it, and then I just thought it was cheesy and childish, and I didn't like it. Um, and then he sort of like, I don't know, he sort of, the channel grew into something different altogether. It wasn't this cheesy, corny show thing, it was an actual, I don't know, a whole thing, a genuine, I don't know, whatever. I like it, it's good. Um, so I've started watching that, and I've become a big fan. And so they, they've, you know, they've got some money together, and so they bought, uh, or he bought a racetrack, which I just think is the coolest thing ever. I mean, what better way to give back to the automotive community and the racing community than to buy a racetrack so that people can enjoy it? And so when I, my parents were de have been have retired this year and decided that every year they're going to go somewhere and uh you know check it out you know what's what's the place gonna look like that's a cool ass electric bike back there um my parents are gonna check it out and see if it's someplace hey maybe they want to go again maybe it's someplace they want to you know visit more frequently 
you know, what's what's the deal? And so where my parents chose to go this year was Tampa, or at least that's what they told me. They were like, yeah, we're going to go to Tampa, um, la-di-da, you know, we're going to see what Tampa's like. And I'm thinking, yeah, okay, whatever. Tampa, let's check it out. Well, what they didn't tell me is they're not actually staying in Tampa. They're staying in a small town outside of Tampa called Bradenton. No way, is this the same Bradenton, Florida as the McFarland Channel? So... Um, while I was down there visiting my parents, I tried to see if there was a time for me to go see a race or an event there, but unfortunately they only had one, and that day we were busy, so I couldn't make it. So I just snuck over there on a, on a day I had free and uh, tried to get into the, the uh, complex, but there was nobody there, and they had it all locked up, and uh, they had a big sign, you know, don't enter, so I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> Uh, so I went over to the racetrack, uh, at the drag strip, and I just took some pictures over there, and it was pretty cool. Uh, it was neat to finally see it, and, you know, like, you're like, oh, hey, this is the place from the videos from the thing that I watch all the time, you know what I mean? It was just kind of like, I don't know, seeing your favorite TV show set in person, it was weird, you know? Um, it just felt like it was make-believe, and then to be there for real for yourself, it's like, wow. <laughs> That's really kind of cool. Look at this. So, I don't know. It was neat. I, uh, I enjoyed it. And, uh, so yeah. So now I'm back, back in California. The weather has been kind of shit here for a couple of days since I've been back. They actually had snow while I was gone. Can you believe that? Apparently it never snows here. And uh, they've only had it like once or twice in like 50 years. And while I was gone, they actually had snow, which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, however, I missed out on it, which which kind of sucks. Um, the old Wisconsin boy missed out on it. I would have liked to show him my uh, my amazing snow drift driving abilities. Comes with the territory, I suppose. If you live in Wisconsin, you're probably pretty good at driving in the snow. Um, yeah, what we got going on here? Somebody can't decide what lane they're going to be in. Oh, yeah, doing some cruising. I am literally just running errands today. I uh, had an idea in mind to go for a big fancy dancy ride through the country, but that sort of fizzled out because I remembered I have some errands to run. And I figured, hey, we'll just uh, get two birds stoned at once here and do the errands and the uh, video catch up here at the same time. Okay, that's PetSmart. I think that's where I want to be. We're gonna pull in there, and in any case, and see if uh, they got some cat food for us. Cause that's what we're out here to do, is to get some cat food, ladies and gents. Gotta keep Jackie Bubbles and uh, Davey well fed. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the old one-two parkeroo, where we just park in front. 